All right, so this is going to be the French Grand Prix. What you can see behind is me currently editing the uh, qualifying and that. Um, this is a race that I thought would be great. Uh, it's one of my favourite uh, circuits. It's uh, a fast circuit, but also has overtaking potential. So I thought it would be a good one. And uh, after the three practice sessions, yeah, I definitely thought it would be good. Things, however, started going wrong uh, in Q3, although it was my fuck-up that uh, resulted in the need to use a flashback in Q3. Um, and then came the race, and the overly aggressive AI really did start to fucking show its true self. And as a result, it turned um, what I thought was going to be a great race into just total frustration. And I didn't enjoy it one bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Well, I've edited the, uh, the highlights of the qualifying because a lot of it is just spent, you know, doing outlaps and sitting in the garage. So that's kept as it usually is the race I'm going to show the whole thing which includes the number of utterly fucked up starts and uh, yeah the moment where my patience just snapped uh, so um, yeah this is the French Grand Prix then Oh, right, so we are at uh, the French Grand Prix uh, at uh, the circuit of Paul Ricard, which is one of my favourite circuits in the world. Um, I've been doing pretty well in the practice sessions, but then I was also doing pretty well in the practice sessions at Canada, and I then went on to uh, have the worst finish of any race so far. Now I have uh, 1,002 uh, resource points, but I'm actually going to wait until we get to, well, probably the end of the race, let alone the end of qualifying, because I can't decide what I'm going to use them on. <coughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, if we just have a quick look at the progress history, uh, you can see that McLaren are pretty much neck and neck with us. But uh, I do have a major upgrade coming at the next race, Austria. So that should certainly uh, help to get us to pull away from uh, McLaren. And if I do a couple of uh, minor upgrades, <coughs> of course, assuming they all work, uh, they will be uh, ready for Austria as well. So I should hopefully not only pull ahead of McLaren, but get pretty close to Force India and Haas. Anyway, that's um, <coughs> not until the end of the race. Also, of course, at the end of this race, I have another uh, contract negotiation. So I really want to do well here. So let's uh, head straight to qualifying then. Welcome to qualifying for this weekend's French Grand Prix. The teams are making their last minute adjustments before the lights go green and the fight for pole position gets underway. I'm very happy with my uh, setup. I'll show it after I've done a uh, banker uh, lap. Let's go straight out. Standing by. The pit lane speed limit here is unbelievably slow. Just uh, when we finally move, let's take a look at how slow this uh, speed limit is. It's a 37 mph. Right, here we go. Fucking late doing the uh, DRS there. That corner all wrong, first corner. 
I am confident of getting to... Actually, I'm confident of getting to Q3. I don't know if I'm going to do it on this lap. So there's a McLaren up ahead, actually there's also a Merc up ahead. Well, I'm not going to catch up with the Merc. The McLaren that's up ahead is on its timed lap, so I'll get some sort of idea of how good this lap is. But I have no idea if it's Alonso or Van Dorn that's uh, driving. Van Dorn, 136.4. We go over 134.9. I thought I could do better than that, but Magnussen came out right in front. We're going back to the garage. So I've done. Our fastest lap is a 1 minute 34.9. I've gone faster than that in practice. Yeah, we're currently in third. But we're ahead of Bottas. So I, I think I've got a good chance of uh, getting through Q2 with that lap, even though it wasn't a particularly good one. So anyway, let's show you the car set up then. So, uh, aero, very low, 2.4. Transmission. Uh, the, the the real important stuff is obviously the aerodynamics. Um, and also the weight distribution. So I have the weight distribution at six, which uh, a lot of people will say, well, that's far too near the front. Um, if you put it just one more point towards the rear, so put it up to seven. Uh, I was spinning every single time I went through that, uh, like that right-handed 130R, uh, I can never remember the name of that corner. So, uh... From time to time, I'll ask you if you want to change to a new strategy, or if there are any particular car adjustments you would like made in the pit stop. When I do so, a prompt will appear on the MFD, showing how long you have to respond. To answer... Hold the radio button to open the radio screen. This will display your available responses. You may either speak the command or select it manually from the radio screen. Nice of you to tell us at the eighth race of the season. I already know all that shit. Um, I completely lost the thread of what I was saying. Oh well, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, this will get me through Q1, so I'm only going to do that one lap. So yep, it was enough easily, so I was in the P4 at the end of uh, Q1. Leclerc has got through as well, so yeah, pretty good all round. So those out, Hartley, Stroll, Sorotkin, Gasly, Van Dorn. Isn't that a real shock? Um... Alright, on the Q2. And we'll go straight out again. Checks complete. All personnel be aware, we have a car leaving. Alright, here we go. A bit late getting the uh, engine mode sorted out, but hopefully I'll get away with it. I did in uh, Q1. Oh, very wide. 
and slow. So this hasn't been a good lap so far. Yeah, this is not uh, going well. I'm not hugely fast on the straights. Uh, my speed is through the corners. So sector three, I am pretty good. Uh, so much so that I'm able to actually catch up with uh, the works Merck. So on the straights here, yeah, I'm, I'm average at best. All through this sector, I am pretty fast. Providing I don't fuck it up. One thirty four eight. Not brilliant again, but I reckon it will be enough. I noticed Boss has already beat it, but uh, well, let's see where we are. So we're currently fifth, actually lower than I thought I would be. Look at that, I'm only one hundredth of a second slower than Bottas. Hamilton is still on his uh, first lap. Leclerc looks like he's going out this uh, this session. Let's see there, purple time is is mine. So far, our fastest lap is a 134.8 in sector three. So. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going through sector 3 faster than anybody, faster than both Ferraris, both Mercs. So yeah, the setup is definitely working there, but you look at my time in sector 2, which is pretty much the, the Mistral straight. Um, yeah, I'm, well, certainly the slowest of the top 5. There's only, what? There aren't that many times that are slower than mine in the top 10. So that's where I lose it. Anyway, I, I'm fairly sure I'm okay for Q3. I'm going to risk it. Well, I dropped down another place, but uh, nevertheless, I'm through to uh, Q3. Um, so yeah, it's not as if I'm just best of the rest. Ahead of Verstappen, although he went out on super softs. Uh, so those out, Leclerc, just quite a way behind everyone else actually. Alonso, Hulkenberg, Grosjean, Magnussen, both Haas out in Q2. That is a big surprise. Uh, Ocon has got through to Q3, it's the first time he's done that for a little while. Because being my rival, I would have liked to have seen him out in Q1, but uh, and Hulkenberg out in Q1, uh, out in Q2 as well. Uh, given that the Renault is, according to the uh, performance chart there, you know the development uh, thing, the Renault is the best of the rest. It's it's the uh, fourth place car, but they just don't get the performances in. Maybe they just can't do qualifying very well and they're better in race trim. Anyway, on to Q3. Again, go straight out. When you're ready, let's go. Really could do with being the first out. And I am. Right, let's see what we can do. Mm. 
That wasn't good. If I'm qualifying P6, I will be fucking ecstatic. But uh, yeah, I'm not doing it this lap. I'm, I can't do two laps because I will derate on the second lap. In fact, I think I could end up derating on this lap because the uh, discharge is going down like fuck knows what. And really fuck that up there. This is a fucking awful lap. So we'll move it down the high so I can at least keep the uh, battery boost going for the whole lap and not have it running out. Very wide through there. Time is awful. 135. Alright, so, well so I'm going to treat this as another outlap and then we'll uh, do a third flying lap. Mm. Or second flying lap, but third consecutive lap. So yeah, I'm currently third, but there's only three people who are actually put in a time. Ocon has qualified ahead of me. Probably not a good idea. Less than a lap of fuel now. The tank is empty. Oh fuck it! I forgot about that. Right, we've got to go back to the garage. So I put all that extra strain on the uh, internal combustion engine for nothing. So where am I? Ninth. And there's only nine that are put in a time. So hopefully all these cars are coming in. Yes, they are. Right. Our best lap so far is a 1 minute 35.2. Check point the tyres I'm using. Okay, right, we'll stick with those. Let's go out. Last All chance. Set. Everyone clear. Car to track. Just hope I don't fuck up the timing and all the other cars start coming out as I start my uh, time lap. There is a risk of that happening. And on this circuit, if they come out, they appear right on the driving line. The racing line, whatever you want to call it. Alright, 
Here we go. That wide. That was better though. So, point one six up so far. And now, really, there's improved. only one lap of fuel remaining. Right through there, and I got to use the flashback. I've got to do a clean race. Fucking hate using flashbacks for shit like this. Very close to D rating again. So it's down the high, but I think I'm still going to. And well, it wasn't good enough. It's still only ninth. After all that. So only 20 seconds to go, and I'm now last of the qualifiers. 1.35.0. Uh, that's the worst time I have done in, I don't know how long. I think since Q, uh, since uh, As we wind down free from the practice one. Qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Hamilton, Raikkonen, and Daniel Ricciardo. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. So, right, well, P10. Not a good starting position, because, of course, I've got to use the Ultra Softs. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm going to be, well, everybody behind me has free tyre uh, choice. Yeah, don't uh, like uh, that qualifying performance. I thought I would do better than that. I was say I was targeting seventh and hoping for sixth, and I get tenth. Well, <laughs> so ahead of me, two rivals. You always. Uh, have your teammate as your your first rival, the second rival. I need another ten points to win that one. He's only five behind, and of course he's qualified right in front of me. amount of points. And the rep goes up, which I am now bothered about because I want to uh, have the uh, yeah be in a decent position for uh, the contract negotiation at the end of the race. Well done. That was a good qualifying performance. If you say so, I'm not that thrilled with it. So it's just uh, telling us that uh, the weather is going to be fine for the entire race, which I'm more than happy about. 
So, well, I mean, my value is pretty good. So I should be able to ask for a bit more. But not a huge amount more. I can, I'll probably... You know, I'll, I'll probably go for either upgrade speed or race bonus, but that's about it. My expected qualifying and race positions, I can't really raise them too much higher. Anyway, let's have a look at... Uh, Alright, so the internal combustion engine is at 51. MTUH at 49. Turbocharger is at 50. Well, sh they should all be fine for this race, but uh, Austria might be interesting. So I may need to do a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Durability uh, upgrade. After the race, in which case it will be the internal combustion engine. Because Austria is another faster circuit. Yes. Anyway, um, so that's qualifying done. Uh, I'm starting in P10, which I personally I think is one of the worst starting places y you could have. I think I I think I'd stand more of a chance if I was starting in twentieth. Anyway, um, so yeah, <laughs> not good, not a good start. Um, but uh, well, let's see how we go and we'll get on then with the race. It's time for the French Grand Prix. Welcome along then to the Circuit Paul Ricard, home of the French Grand Prix, home race of the Renault team, and of course a number of the drivers on the grid as well. Of the 14 races held here up until 1990, five were won by a Frenchman, and four of those, of course, were Alain Prost. I wonder who'll add their name to that winner's list today. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Vettel, Max Verstappen, and Bottas, Sainz, Perez, Ocon, and Oldtimer, Magnussen, Grosjean, Nico Hülkenberg, and Alonso, Leclerc, Van Dorn, Pierre Gasly, and Sergei Sorokin. Stroll and Brendan Hartley rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, we qualified higher than we were anticipating. Let's see if we can do just as well in the race. So no one gets grid penalties, which is surprising. I was kind of hoping that at least one person would and I'd move up the ninth. Anyway. Mm, wants me to two stop. I do not want the two stop. I want to. Uh, I want to do a one stop if it will let me. Let's see. No, I can't. Can't make the tyres last long enough. Well, in that case, I think I'll stick with what I've got but I also want to make sure I avoid all the fucking um, you know, risk of uh, being kept waiting in the pits from the old Christian fucking motoring routine so yeah that's what will make it then so we'll stop on lap 6 and then second stop on lap 17 Ultra soft tyres just do not last. I will be really on the uh, last legs of this tyre when I come in uh, for the first stop. Anyway, uh, bung some more fuel in. Not a huge amount more. Uh, right, 28 and a half laps. So 53.9 kilos. Alright. I am not feeling very optimistic, but let's see uh let's see what happens. Here we go.
already lost the place to Magnuson and now I've got Hulkenberg. But I took the place back from Hulkenberg but I'm still down one place. Oh, fucking... force off the track Teammate, and I've got a collision warning. I've got to fucking restart. Right, into mix one, and away we go. Straight up in the mix two, and I've been hit by Magnuson and Holfenberg. Oh, that was Grosjean. Uh, we got through, we're now up into 8th place, that's not bad. Uh, oh, fuck it, everyone's really slow through here. And then they pull away from me. Oh, very wide through there. Right, let's go out into mix three, see if I can stay or at least keep up with these fuckers ahead of us. Oh, not really. I can't keep those in mode five for too long. This is where I should be pretty fast. Compared to everybody else. The trouble is I've got more fuel on than everyone else, which isn't going to help. Oh, he cut me up. Oh, fuck it. Is that going to be a warning? No, it's not a warning. So we're up to 7th. Thing is, I'm now down in a very regular sort of engine mode. I'm not going super fast. Boxer's are so slow through there. Someone, I think, is holding all this lot up. Speaking of holding up, I think I'm holding up a lot of people behind me. I've got this uh, Perez coming through. Now, can I outbreak them? Yeah, no. Perez is still there. And I've got someone else in the right beside me here. You know. Who is that there? It's uh, Science. 
now my engine is showing signs of wear as I just said so I'm losing or I'm not running as well as I would like that's not going to do me too many favours DRS is now enabled and will be available to use when you are within one second of the car ahead in the DRS zone and Bottas has just gone off. I had to take a... Uh, oh, fuck it. Illegal maneuver. See that position or and receive a penalty. I got smashed into the back by fuck knows who. Yeah, I'm going to have to redo it. Of course, Bottas didn't fuck it up this time. How the fucking hell else are you supposed to, uh...
box this lap. Speed now, let's get some heat into those tires.
need some energy harvesting, reduce ERS deployment. seconds.
Gracias.
gap to teammate ahead is 6.1 seconds. seconds.
low on energy. Reduce ERS deployment. T 
teammate behind is 3.8 seconds. of fuel remaining.
is 1.6 seconds. Six points. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was! So, Anne, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Sebastian Vettel takes the lead of the driver's championship. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Oh, it's got to be Roman Grosjean. He was in another league for me today, really impressive. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari extend their lead at the top of the championship. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Salva, whose good results moves them further up the championship. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. I wouldn't say it was that good a result for Salva, with Leclerc only finishing 14th. Anyway, as you may have been able to deduce from the fact that I went silent for the vast majority of that race, I just so fucked off with the number of times the, the AI cars just smash in here. Um, so I'm not going to edit this race in any way which means you'll see how many starts I had to do before it wasn't just you know a complete bollock fest right from the word go um, but yeah it's ridiculous and, it, and the end result is a race that I thought would be great I was really looking forward to because it's one of, one of my favorite motor racing circuits and I hated every second of it because I just knew that at some point someone else was going to smash into me. And given that my uh, team goal was to have two clean races, yeah, so it would appear that although I prefer racing or driving on the uh, faster circuits, the races themselves are just unbelievably frustrating because everyone keeps piling into you. As long as they don't knock me off or anything, I can put up with it. Um, if I didn't have that fucking team goal where I had to have clean races. So if the next team goal has nothing to do with clean races, I'm happy with that. Because then, you know, providing they don't smash me or you know, knock me off the track, I don't care about, you know, being hit then. Uh, and then, of course, the other thing with one of the flashbacks, Bottas completely fucked up and went off. But him and the car in front of me were completely blocking the circuit. I had no choice but to go off the track to get past them. But then he said that was an illegal move. And then he slowed down to let them pass, and some other cunt hits you up the fucking ass. Uh, it was just all really fucking pissing me off. Uh, Anyway, so I finished six, I get eight points. I wish Leclerc had been able to get some points. He looked like he was on course to. His, I know he only once stopped. His tyres must have really started to uh, be on their last legs. 
but again, the, the one stop was available to those people who didn't finish in the top 10. And that's why Grosjean and Magnussen were able to finish so high up. And there was no way I was going to catch Grosjean, even though my fastest lap was almost nine tenths of a second faster. So what's that do to the standings? I'm still in sixth. Uh, Bottas and Raikkonen are now equal uh, on points with British Diva Cunt just four behind them German Diva Cunt leading the uh, championship but I'm still ahead of Verstappen although his two DNFs certainly helped there and yeah it's all pretty close around from, from sixth down to about ninth Constructors, um, Force India drop down, Haas and Sauber both uh, past them, so they drop down two places. But we're still behind Haas by nine points, I have a feeling it's going to be closer between us and Haas for this entire season. Anyway, uh, let's see what, oh I've got to do the fucking interview first, haven't I? Great work out there today. How do you think it went? You were cutting your way through the field during the race. Uh. We all underestimated you, didn't we? Uh, gotta be Mr. Nice. Great. Well, that's everything. Alright, so how many points did I get? So I stretched my lead in uh, against uh, Ocon or, and against Leclerc, but. Uh, the Ocon rivalry should then be finished by uh, the end of the Austrian Grand Prix. So I've got a decent amount of uh, points here. Especially with the team gold bonus, so 857 in total. So I have over 2,000 now. reputation with Salva is shot up. So it means I can now do a second contract negotiation. Let's see what's on offer. Well they haven't offered me anything new. It's time for us to renegotiate your okay. contract. Here you can see the current deal. Once negotiations begin, the team will make you an offer. You can accept if you like, but I strongly suggest we push for better terms. Well, I'm sticking with the medium team goals for now. I'm not going to settle for none on those. Qualifying 50s. Simultaneous, no, I, I can stick with just the one there. But I want to there. Well, let's see if I can really push it and go for level two there as well. In which case, I'll stick uh, qualifying at 14th. All right, I don't think I'm going to get this, but let's have a go. They aren't coming round to that proposal. Let's try something else. Oh, it's fucking close, though. Um, Okay, uh, 13th and 13th, let's try that. We're asking for too much here, we need to make some compromises. Fuck yeah, it's right on the fucking limit. Um, Right, here we 
we go. Okay, that proposal looks good. It seems all parties are happy with the deal, so it'll commence at the next race weekend. Okay. I wonder if I've been a more like and chew. So I've got to finish 12th in the race and qualify 13th. Well, I've, I've finished higher than that in all but one race, and that was because I parked it on the uh, first corner. And qualifying, my average qualifying position is not bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, the average grid is ninth. And I have to qualify to... Uh, yeah, I think that's doable. Right, let's get some upgrades done. First thing we want to do is the uh, internal combustion wear. Um, get that sorted out. And then the next thing we'll do... All of these are minor, so I these will, if they work, all be ready for uh, Austria. So I'll yeah, we'll do further weight reduction. And fuck it, we'll put this one on as well. Because the, the major one will be done in time for Austria as well, so if we can get this as, at the same time... And I still have 420 resource points. But uh, yeah, that, that will do. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five uh, upgrades being done. Four of which, if they work, will all come along in Austria. Now how are we doing? The ICE is only at 56%. The way they were talking, I thought it was going to be higher than that. In the turbocharger and the MGUH are not far behind, and they've both had uh, in durability improvements. I may have to give them another one. Except I can't afford another one. The next one would be 600. So, actually, something else I haven't checked. Gearbox. Uh, 67. Well, it will probably have some problems going through uh, uh, what do you call it? Austria. But hopefully it will last. If it does, then I can get the new one for the British Grand Prix without any uh, uh, penalties. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's the Austria. Uh, that's the French Grand Prix done. Let's see what we have in a way of uh, upgrades that worked for Austria. I just know with this many coming along, one is going to fail. I know we were expecting some new developments oh, this weekend, but some of them have failed quality control. Make sure you indicate what you'd like redeveloped by the workstation. You just know it's going to be the major one. Let's have a look. Uh, I've got to get 12 championship points over the next two races. I'm confident about that. Two of them failed, and it's both the fucking uh, downforce ones. I can't afford to fix that one yet. I can do that one. See, so what was the fucking point of me putting on the uh, quality control improvement? So, do that one. And I'll be able to sort this one out. I need another, what, 360. Yeah, I'll be able to do that after... Uh, uh, after all the other practice sessions. So, oh, there you go. So that was the French Grand Prix. Um, 
Yeah, next is Austria, if I upload them.